who needs love when hate is this real? Dirty hands. Yeah, uh-huh, back with another one of Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's your boy Kim Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm in the house with a good girl. Yeah, that's the Let's go. Uh-huh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. But please, please, <laughs> but please, everybody, before we before we get into this, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. We're on Spotify, we're on Apple Music, we're on Pro Wrestling Tees, we're on Twitter, hashtag Dirty Motherfucking Hills, we all we motherfucking got, man, you already know. But today we got a special guest in the building, man, named Fly, Storyline Tees, 20 by 20 podcast, man. Let's go, man. What's going on, everybody? How's everybody doing? Everybody good? Uh-huh. What? Maintain it, maintain, maintain it, man. I'm glad to be here, man. Uh, good brother, good brother got the glasses on today, so this okay, is okay. Don't okay. worry. You know, I mean, he hasn't worn the glasses okay. in a while. So. It's warm, you know what I'm saying? It's like my transcendent. Yeah, yeah. That, you know what I'm saying? So, baby boy, man, storyline fly, man. Storyline T, 20, 20 by 20 podcast, man. Go. Let the people know who you are, man. Somebody can find you and all that, man. Drop some knowledge. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, you already know Nigga Nigga Miss Fly, mm-hmm. Storyline T, like the host of 20 by 20 podcast. We out here, you can find me. Uh, Instagram story underscore line underscore T's, uh-huh. LLC. You can find me on Twitter as well, mm-hmm. Storyline T's. Uh, Twitter with the 20 by 20 is 20 by 20 underscore podcast. Mm-hmm. We needed that underscore because niggas try to take the name, but we out here. You, we all Yo. got, man. We all got. Yeah, try to take the name quick, niggas. Try to take the name quick. You know what I'm saying? But it's all good. It's all good. We're on 100 slides. I'm so zen, man. Now, I love it. I love yeah, it. I love it. Man. Clap it up. Man. Been a while. Been a while. Gotta clap it up. Gotta clap it up, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, now, for everybody that comes to the show, man, you know, uh, we give them a nickname, so much some form of fashion, man. But uh, your name is Nathan Fly. Yeah. You story, you storyline tease. But when you come here, man, you you, you, you storyline fly. Storyline you know? fly. Got you know what I'm saying? Fly, fly, that's fly. who you are. That's who you be us, man. You dig it, Sam? Yeah, yeah. It's all right, okay. It's better. It's better than what the students call me. They just be calling me Mr. Ice Cube, man. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Yo, I, I get. I get. The lunch man. Mr. Lunch man. <laughs> Kids see me and they automatically be like, yo, is it lunch time? Yeah. <laughs> Lump is here to pick up the trash. Coach anybody? Coach anybody? All right, man. Let's, 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 for the viewers out there, man, let's yeah. get a little background behind who, who you are, man, and your culture and the movement, man. Please. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I said, Nathan McFly uh, mm-hmm. from Queens, Flushing. Uh, grew up uptown, though. You know what I'm saying? 189th, St. Nick. Oh, oh, let's go. Okay, go. Let's go. Hey, look, look, okay. Hold him in the building, yeah. yeah. Dominican, Jamaican. Uh huh. And yeah, man, you know, Storyline Tees, we're about a year and a half strong. Mm-hmm. We just had our first year anniversary in May. Clap it up. Let's go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Clap it up. And yeah, man, we're just out here. We're just trying to give another alternative to the fans right now, you know, because I know they, they want to get, they want to get their merch, they want to get uh-huh. whatever it may be. And we just want to be the alternative instead of, you know, instead of them having to choose from the generic shit that's out there at the moment. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The first t-shirt that you uh, was like, hey, this is the first t-shirt you yeah. saw and you was like, hey, I want to start making shirts. I want to start doing yeah. what, so that. What, happened, what, what was that yeah. idea? Yeah, that happened before uh, I even had like the idea of making Storyline T. So I was, this is probably like three, four years ago, maybe this is when uh, Straight Outta Compton came out. Straight Outta Compton. So I was like, yo, I gotta do something with the Straight Outta Compton cover. Uh huh. And I'm, I'm thinking about wrestlers. I'm like, yo, who who could be uh, the people that could be here? They could be, you know, Dre, Q, uh-huh. everybody here, you know what I'm saying? DJ Yellow, whoever it is. And the only group I thought of that actually like bump rushed the industry the way NWA did was NWO. So I, I did a match, I just had to cover. <laughs> and I hate to say it, but I had to put Terry over there, that piece of shit. But you know what I'm saying? Like he's, he's, part, he's part of the. The, you know what I'm saying? Original. He's part of the, the original, the collective. I mean, I'm the original I, six. I, I, I do like <laughs> white and black Hogan better than I like red and yellow yeah, Hogan. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, definitely. You know, definitely, definitely. Like, 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 uh, like black and white Hogan is a Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah, yeah. 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 No, definitely, man. But, yeah. uh, you know, I put I, I put the original six members, which is him, uh, Kevin Nash, uh-huh. Scott Hall. Then you got, you know, Ted DiBiase, six. the Giant. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So they, they were there and instead of six, because it, it was before six came. Oh, man, you say, me. Let's yeah, but, but the thing is, they say that, you know, Eric Bischoff was there. So I put Bischoff in there. Yeah, so you, you know what I'm saying? So you got, you know, 
you got all six of them there, and then that, that teacher kind of food. So I was like, man, maybe Let's I got go. something. Let's go. Yeah. You know, I printed up, I printed up 50 joints real quick, and I was like, maybe this is something that we can do. Let's go. So I was like, all right, bet. let me see what I can do with this. I started thinking of different ideas, and I'm like, yo, what well, other shirt? And this took like another two years after. I was like, yo, what shirt is like, now, I have a shirt. Now, let, 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 let me ask you a question, brother. Yeah. Are you, are you also an artist as well? Do you draw? Well, what I do is I, I, I sketch up graphics. Okay. So I I go and you know, you already know Dream Match Wrestling. He helped me with my first five shirt. Yo, shout out to Dream Match Wrestling. Shout out to Dream Match Wrestling. I love you, we appreciate you, man. You already know. Go go check out that Dream Match Wrestling. Definitely, man. But um I was thinking, I was like, yo, I had never seen a Brian Gilman shirt. Mm -hmm. Like besides the stuff he had, you know, in the WWE running a little bit of ECW, did you know, that. I don't really see anything. So I was like, you know what, I gotta do something when he pull out the gun on us. Yeah. Mm. So we got that shirt. It was, it was called the Loose Candy shirt. The Brian Taylor shirt. That, 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 that was that 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 never did that before. You did that. You yeah. That so, work, man. And you know, it's, it's a lot of story behind that because mm -hmm. I think two days after I dropped that shirt, his son hit me up, Brian Pillman Jr. He's like, yo, it's you. To that guy. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. He's like. All right, he's like, did you ask anybody for permission for this? Ooh. So I was like, well, you know, I looked into the licensing and everything, and the people that got the licensing nice. and owned the name Brian Holman mm -hmm. since mm -hmm. WWE. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Mm -hmm. I was like, if I have to reach out to you, if you guys want to work, I was like, you yeah. can work. Mm -hmm. So till now, I'm still waiting on Brian Holman Jr. You know, we're going to see what happens. I know so, he got so, his contract so, with so, 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 I'm going to be honest, that was, that, was, that, was, that was a little bit spiteful. Like, yo, you probably. I understand where he was coming yeah, from. Yeah, but I understand. Yeah, I, I would understand if he was to be like, "Well, let's do this. Let's and, work together." He didn't come. And my so well, I, I came. I came with that. I was like, "Yo, you know what? I, I got an alternative." I was like, "Yo, listen. Let me make something for you. Let's sell it." Yeah. Um, MLW was supposed to have a show, but then the pandemic happened. Yes, it did. I remember. We were supposed to have one at the at the ballroom, Melrose Ballroom, but the pandemic happened. Yeah, we, we couldn't get anything. Go. Yeah, we couldn't get anything going with that. So. Then I just kept waiting, 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 and when he signed that contract with EW, everything kind of just shut down. And by far, that, that, that was the biggest sell shirt by far, right? That, yeah, that, yeah, that, 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 that filming joint, and another one that they got, they got some love was uh, yeah, the first Roman joint I did with uh, the Tribal yeah. Team shirt. Mm -hmm. So, hey. what? <laughs> so, um, yeah, that uh, that Tribal Chief shirt that I did for WrestleMania this year. Kind of went off. Yeah. Like that, that nah, nah, you rock that shit, man. Yeah, to the, you know, Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman, you know, he tweeted it out. Let's go. He, 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 Heyman he, Hustle. Yeah, Heyman Hustle. He Heyman Hustle. Uh, and the artist stuff, like, yo, was good. He was trying to get me in in the door with WWE and sell it through WWE. Let's yeah, go. That didn't happen. They'd rather just shut my site down. Got a second cease and desist. Oh, wow. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here still working. Yo, uh, uh, hustle's <laughs> a hustle, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. is a ground, brother, man. The ground is exactly, man. So, now, you're into comics because you got this whole comic thing going yeah. on, man. I got I got a couple questions for you, real quick. Man. All right, you feel me, real quick. <laughs> like yeah. comic so, books. Yeah, yeah. Nah, <laughs> man. I, 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 it's this thing, but I thought this would be cool for everybody, especially. Yeah, let's go, man. You, okay, let's all right, go. man. Go, Number man. one, here's the here's the first question, man. Who founded DC and Marvel? Who founded DC and Marvel? Mm -hmm. See, I'm not into it like that. Like, okay. I can't give you. Like the the underground stuff and like the behind the scenes stuff, like I do with wrestling. Okay. Like comic stuff was just something to me as a kid where like if I worked for it, like yo, my brother's like yo, clean my car, give me ten dollars. All right, that boom, <laughs> go straight to the comic book store with them ten dollars. I felt that. Like, you know, like my, one of my favorite comics that nobody really Here talks go. about, Drop is Death Lock. Drop mm -hmm. it, drop it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I I had Death Lock one when it came in like the silver and the gold background. I, do. So, I, I don't know if you remember like that. Reflect them. Yeah, the reflecting background. So that was my joint. Uh, the Death of Superman. And then when he came back alive and he had the four parts, you know, Boy Wonder, know. Man of Steel, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, that man without fear. That my part is probably my favorite. All right, all right. So, all right. so this is this is for you, motherfucker. Do you know who founded this your man? I know uh, Stan Lee. I think his name is Jack Kirby. Excuse me, everybody. This is for the this is for the viewers out there that's <laughs> watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. You feel me? The founder of DC is Malcolm Wheeler Nelson. Uh, yeah, no, no one knows Nicholson. That. You already know the first. DC comic was published in 1937. You feel me? Yeah. Now let's get into who found the Marvel comics, man. My man Mo Goodman, Martin Goodman. All right, you feel me? Now it wasn't called Marvel Comic at first, man. It was called Tommy Comic at first. You feel me? And the first, the first, 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 first ever uh, public issue, uh, issue of uh, from Marvel Comics 
also Tommy Cummings was uh, October 1939, man. You feel me? Okay, okay. All right, the more you learn every day. Word. All right, you got us some facts. All right, cool, cool. I like that. You, my brother. You already know. This is for the culture. You already know. Fresh Prince or Martin? Oh, it's a tough one. And now, now, and I need to reason. I need to answer. I got a reason. I got a reason. Let's go, man. I'm gonna have to go with Martin. Shout out to everybody that's watching. Drop it, man. Yeah, man, because. Martin, I remember that because I remember when, you know, my, my brothers first moved out and Sunday was, you know, everybody come back home, everybody eat mm -hmm. chill, and that mm -hmm. was when we watched Sunday nights. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We watched that. Yeah, mm -hmm. we watched that and then go to the arcades. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay. Like that that's just like in my Shout mind. Out to the just, you know, you know what I mean? You know, God rest God rest his soul, one of my brothers who I passed away last year, you know what I'm saying? He used to always come through. You know what I'm saying? He's like, all right, we're gonna watch more, and then we're gonna go to the, then we're gonna go to the arcade. I'm like, I right, bet it was just something that we did every every Sunday. So I, that's always in my head. I'm right. thinking about that. Yeah. I love right, it, man. Right. I definitely love Rum it, man. Rum man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, yo, <laughs> from the fifth floor, but hey, only four things went up. Only four things went up. You are right. This is right. not for you, bro. Please, brother. Yeah, yeah. Now, the Survivor Series. <laughs> Since we were on the hills of Survivor Series, yes. hashtag Dirty Hills. You get that? Hills? Dirty Hills? Ha! Ah, ah, there, there we go. go. There we go. If Survivor Series had a traditional hero versus wrestler five on five match, who would you pick for both teams? Traditional hero versus villain, you mean? Uh, uh, not wrestler. Hero, hero versus wrestler. wrestler. I had oh, to okay, 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 mm. okay. Does it have to be by. Uh, Do you think, bro? Does it, does it have to be Marvel, DC, or it could be both together? Do your thing. Any man. hero be a Action hero. If Survivor right. Series was supposed to have a traditional five on five tag team match, man, a hero versus <laughs> a hero versus wrestler, man. Got you. All right, so I'm gonna put it this way. I'm gonna put on the hero side, got for Luke Cage. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Got for Luke, Luke Cage. That was that was the inspiration behind the Bobby Lashley T-shirt that we did. Here we go. Come on, we got some other on this. Let's we go. got Spider Man. Definitely Spider Man. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which one, Toby or you know, like how are we gonna do this? Man? Nah, we are gonna go with Toby. Uh, uh, gonna go with Toby. Uh, all right, all right. <laughs> the other two look like they can't hear. We go with Toby. <laughs> Toby be dressing in black and thinking he's black, chasing down the hallway. Church, church. <laughs> right. Um, we got them, and then we're gonna we're gonna do like the the tweener. We'll have Wolverine there. Mm. Gotta get people there. We'll Wolverine, another tweener. We'll have Punisher. <laughs> or my Frank. You're gonna be a freak. I'm about to kill everybody in the ring, man. All right, all right, all right. All right. We gotta have the Punisher. Okay. And then number five. Number five, number five, number five. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who am I going with? Come oh, on. Oh, you know who we're gonna go with? We need somebody with the brains and they can fight also, no homo. But uh, what's okay. his name? Uh, Mr. Fantastic. Mm, let's go. Pick let's him. go. Mr. Fantastic. That's the hero side, man. So then, Five on the other side. Let's get the rest of the side, man. We, we need the chief there. We got to have the tribal chief. Uh -huh. Got to have the tribal chief. Um, after him, I'll put Austin Theory. Okay. <laughs> Austin uh, Theory? Austin Theory, yeah. We got to put the young the young. Out of boy. all of the wrestlers yes. in the world. Austin Theory. Out of all the wrestlers in the world? Yo, listen. This is his list, bro. All right. Man, all right this is the right. reason why I put it on the theory because I'm really, I'm really feeling what's going on with him now. So I saw Sam and Evil. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm feeling all that. Talk about it, man. So we got those two, and then we're gonna go a little further back. We gotta put my boy Bret Hart. Mm. Bret Hart is top five. Again, go cop the merch. Hart. You already know that. That's the right exclusive. Story line five. Story line two. Go cop the merch. You see um, it up here. Bret Hart. And uh, Macho Man Randy Savage, the cream of the mm. motherfucker. Oh, yeah, yeah. you know, he, he he had to do his thing. Oh, he tried to steal his bitch. He had to go do Yo, his thing. Back, so, back, so back, if 50 back. Cent didn't approve, <laughs> 50, if 50 didn't approve of Hogan, you're not good. You feel me? He moved the Macho Man, so he's good. Exactly, exactly. Let's go, man. Of course, we gotta have one of the goats, Steve Austin. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. You know oh, yeah. Saying? Oh, hell yeah. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta put, I gotta put three from. From childhood era, and then the two going on. Nice Slobanaka right there. You know what I'm saying? Now, 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 honorable questions for you, brother. You know what I'm saying? Talk, talk, honorable bro. questions. First honorable question, man. Your favorite New Japan wrestler? My favorite New Japan wrestler? Yes, yes. All top. Let's nice. go. Here you go. You know, it's straight off gate. Now, <laughs> now, don't, now, don't. <laughs> now uh, here's, a, here's a bonus. Here's a bonus to that New Japan question, man. Yeah, yeah. Can you name the four pillars, all four pillars of 
All Japan. Of, 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 of All Japan Wrestling. All Japan Can Wrestling. Can you name the four pillars, man? All right, well, we got uh, Muta. Is Muta one of them? Because I know Muta, Muta he was That's All Japan question, right? and New Japan. Um, I forgot who he started out with first. Uh, is it Great Baba? Great Baba New Japan or All Japan? I can't remember. Now, here's a question one more time. The four pillars. Can you name the four pillars of all Japan? Wrestling? I don't think so, because I'm, I'm always confused between both. All right, so I'm going to give it to y'all in here real, real, real quick, man. We'll we got Kenta Kabashi. Kabashi, uh, yes. Mitchell Misahawa, uh, Takakwada, and Akira Tau. Feel me? Okay. Those are your okay. four pillars of all Japan okay. wrestling. You already know. All right, right. so then the, then the great power made in uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling. These are the guys before them. Yeah, 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 yeah. You already know that. You feel me? Kenta right. Hip Hop artist, man. Definitely. Favorite hip hop artist? Oh up. man. We got Pun. Uh -huh. Big Pun. Okay. You'll hear a lot of people say Big Pun no. is in their top five, and I think what? that's kind of underrated. One of, my, one of my favorite pun one of my favorite pun lines is from Jeep Shadow. He's like, I call my I call my initials on the forehead, so every night before bed, you see the BP shine off the forehead. Okay. I'll be very strapped, very strapped. Oh god, you're gonna get me going. Say what that was, that was an impressive. I sound the person first slide. Make your whole body jerk back. Yo, 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 Oh, oh man. man, I gotta give you a clap. Let me win over here. You know why? You know why? Oh, yeah. I, I got black thought in my side. So okay, okay. A lot okay, of people, cool, cool. they yeah, speak definitely. on black thoughts. She's a whole walking episode right here. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I love it. So I got pun, uh -huh. Nas, black thought, uh, Jada. Mmm. I have. Hey, Jada, now let's go. Oh, so Jada, man. Okay, that's a tough time. All right. All right. All right. Who, who's like, who's close, who's right there? Six yeah, men, six men. Six men, BBC. Mm. Yeah, that's a hell of a list right there. That's a hell of a Now, man, do you do battle rap, man? Are you into battle rap and stuff like that, man? I used to be big into it. When it, when it was first going on, like when it was the Sub-Zero DVDs mm -hmm. and, and stuff like that, but I haven't really... <laughs> Really been in on it like too much. All right, man. All right, I seen, so I seen like Math. Math did some joints. Shout out to Math, man. Wait, you with a reggaeton singer during the quarantine? I'm like, what's going nah, on? Nah, that jam was fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was. Like, it, it surprised me because I haven't heard Nicky Jam spit in English <laughs> since he was rocking. Okay, so you know who that dude is? Uh -huh. Yeah, because him, him and Daddy Yankee, they got flown out here uh -huh. from Puerto Rico so. by Pun. Uh -huh. Pun was gonna put them on before he had passed. Uh huh. Wow, you know See, I didn't know I didn't know yeah. who the show was, but I just I, when I watched the battle, oh, he was saying how he had can't have millions of views. I can't for the people you know, that are just tuning in. He's man. large, like he's like one of the biggest Latino artists. Okay, right. There we go. Again for the people yeah. that's tuning in, man. We got my man Nathan Fly Storyline Fly in the building Storyline T yes, yes, sir. Twenty podcast, man. You already know. Yes, sir. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment to both of us. Our shit going on right now, man. All right, round the one for you, man. Since we still in the hip hop situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifty a cam. Damn, see, this is hard, B. Kind of easy for me. Oh, see, yo, I'll be sorry. Yo, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> just because it was when it was like like the like the mid late nineties, and I was just so into like all like Mace Cam. What is it, Ashley and Krusty? Big um, L. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. and I gotta go with Cam. Mm -hmm. I gotta go okay. I gotta go 50. 50? Yeah. I mean, 50. Yeah. 50 got the hits. Only why I go 50 hits. is because, like, I still listen to 50 today. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, no. Sure. That, that. We used to listen to 50 last night. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. Just, so. it's just. I know, man. That, that, that. I, I, I got another one. Confessions of Fire. Yeah. D.E. Yeah. 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 Losing weight is one of my best, one of my favorite joints. All right, man. That's a little honorable, 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 honorable question, real quick, man. I actually got one more for you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Death Jam Vendetta or NBA Streets? Oh, Death Jam Vendetta. Let's go, mm -hmm. man. Death Jam Vendetta. Not because All I got that game for free because I used to work over there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 man. I, I, I worked for Death Jam for eight and a half years, man. Wow, wow. that's fire, my nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the first, that was the go. first, uh, Let's go. The first go around trying to, trying to like, yeah. get, get, get out, you know. Get out you're already, you know. Now, let's get back to these questions. I heard y'all the goddamn drugstore, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's heard of drugstore. It was such a... 
everybody. You know, you ever ran through that? So you ever sold drugs or shit like that? No. Yeah, definitely. He know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Word. Uh, did OJ do it? Did OJ do it? Hell yeah, he did. Nah, OJ had to do that shit. Hell yeah, he did. Hell yeah, he did. Alright, let's get bigger. This is the number one, our number one. He's too sloppy right now with it, because he, you know, See, I like the fact he got locked up for some of his own shit, man. Like, I don't, he got locked up for some of his own shit. Maybe this question was just for you. You know what? He sold his shit, and they tried to get it back with not giving the money back. Yes, What the fuck is he doing? Yes, yes, yes. All right, man. All right, let's get them back in. Let's get back into this. Uh, back into this question. This is the number one. Number the one. most underrated hill of all time. Underrated hill of all time. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you know, that, that was that was a great question. I've never been asked that question before. That no, was you're great. Not the greatest hill. So, uh, but what is who is your truly the most underrated hill of all time? Man? Underrated hill, and this is because. Me and Young Ali, I used to hate this dude, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro pa- Dino Bravo. Dino mm. Bravo. Yeah, I don't, used to, don't yo, that dog side of the room. Yo, let, yeah, 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 yo, that's when I started respect. I was like, you know what? I don't even know why I hate this dude. You know what I'm saying? Because he you hated so the character. Much. You hated the character. character. Yo, I'm you like, yo, who is this guy, bro? I'm like, who is but he? But I mean, he was doing his job, though. Yeah, like, yo, when he when he went up and he did the bench press with uh with uh Ultimate Warrior, uh-huh. and he tried to just shut, shut the bar. I'm like, yo, who, who is this guy? He got I was buried, like, nah, no, you gotta get at him. I was like, that dude gotta get at him. He was a good heel, though. He was a good heel. Nah, he was. And uh, Hercules. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you, 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 you're golden age for sure, man. Oh, yeah, you're, you're golden age for sure, man. My, my mom and my aunt, God rest her soul too, man. They're they the ones that got me into it really early, bro. They take, they were taking me to Masters. I think Square everybody's Garden. grandparents got them in the wrestling, oh, man. man. You feel me? Because my mom wasn't into it, man. Yeah. Still ain't into this shit. No, like, I, shit, I was watching it with my mom since I was young. Now, every once in a while, like, when the vets come, she's like, yo, yo, come through, let's watch this. All right, all right. Oh, that's fire. Nah, that's like our thing right there. You nah, know what who's your mom's favorite wrestler? wrestler? You don't mind me asking. My mom's favorite wrestler. Is, this is when she came. Well, you know, she's from the Dominican Republic, so her her, her joint is Jack Renan. Yeah. Jack Renan was like the, the Hulk Hogan. I think she was going to say, like, Carlos <laughs> Colon and them. And nah, nah, nah. Jack Renan was that. Jack Renan actually held that belt. Okay. He beat Ric Flair for that belt. You see, right? Wow. And those are one of the those are one of the championships that they don't they don't recognize, recognize because yeah. he didn't want to come to the states and defend them. Okay. He's like, nah. He's like, if I'm the champion, he's like everybody got to come out here. But they said like, yo, people were rioting and we don't give up the belt. Roddy Piper and um, Shout out Rick Flair talked yeah. about that. Like, yo, we just left it there and it was left because it's crazy. He talked about how he was just running down on the beach and just kids found him. He said, yo, they, they, everybody's insane out there with wrestling. Like PR, DR, they, they love it out there. Yeah, uh, shout out to uh, uh, World Wrestling Council. World Wrestling Council. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, out there. Uh, uh, King Mortez is out there. Yes, sir, yes, sir. How do you feel about Samuel Vega, man? Theo Samuel, man. You didn't know oh, Theo Samuel, Samuel, man. That's my man right there. All right, man. Yo, Samuel Vega, he, he's he's low-key, okay. low-key great. Like, even though he came out here kind of you know, kind of old already, yeah. just with everything he was doing, I wish he would have just had at least a little Tyrone, maybe even with the million dollars, though. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now, that was dope. That, yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, all right. Yeah. All right, man. Let's get it in. Me and guys are coming up and stuff like that. We got eight. First of all, I'm digressing. Your thoughts on MJF and CM Punk. You know the world? I got to get both your opinions. I'm a lot. I think that was... Coffee. I think, yo... It was one of the best promos I've seen this year. Okay. Like them going back and forth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if they was coming out off that shit off freestyle. <laughs> the off the dome. They wrote that shit down and they worked it out in the back. <laughs> he sat, he sat that back. That was gone. It was, it, was, it was flowing so well. Then when that nigga called him a low level on Miz. Yo, that hit hard. Now, that the, whole, hard. the whole crowd was that like, yo. Like, like, just for him dropping that name. But how many times have you ever heard that before? Yeah. Yeah, what? No, yeah, we've heard it, but we haven't like, heard anybody like, else. Like, yeah, you haven't heard like we've said it. Yeah, no. your, your, your thoughts, man. Fly, man. My, yeah. my thoughts is this: MJF is crazy on the mic. Mm-hmm. Everybody yes, knows CM Punk is on the mic. Every fucking bar. And right now, what MJF did was show everybody, not only AEW but WWE, anywhere else that he can go. Yes, yes. Yes. Like that was the first thing I, re- I, that I thought of when I seen him against Darby Allen at, uh, what was that, Revolution. Mm-hmm. Darby was a smoke. No, at Full Gear, my bad, Full yeah. Gear. He was wrestling. 
Like he he wasn't trying to just do his you know little little bullshit moves here and there. He was actually wrestling. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And that was one of the things I was like, yo, he ain't even all that in the ring. But he showed that he could be all that. He got that in the stash. That's because that all he got to do is break it out. That's that image shit, then, man. And then he got the mic skills. This kid is unstoppable. No. And it wasn't even like CM Punk was over him. They were right here. Neck and it was neck and neck. neck. Yeah, it was no. neck and neck. No, man. We, we, we just, we hear the Miz name being dropped. We yeah. also got the return of the Miz yes. and the return of Edge. Yes. Y'all thoughts on that? Because it was a little cross reference. No, cross yeah. reference. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 From uh, he said, shots. He said, uh, you, 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 you got uh, everybody. Uh, Dreaming about you or in your head or some, something like you say you, you got yeah. the other you got the other guys talking about you. Yeah, that's, 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 yeah, he said something to that to that to so, that extent. So these feuds, man, are, are is this like is it a conspiracy or is it is, is, is it you know is this on purpose? I, yeah, I thought so. This good because it seemed like it's happening. I think at the same he brought time. the Miz back because his name was. His name was dropped. His name was dropped and it was relevant. Okay. Yeah. And they yeah. made his name yeah. mad relevant. So he didn't bring him back the next week. It would kind of be like, oh, they didn't bring him in. And he's, uh, now, you know, he's done dancing, so. Now, he, he, yeah, he, 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 he did an awesome yeah. job. Let me be honest with you, man. He came in ninth place, but he did an awesome job, man. Now, here, here's a name that was mentioned and, and, and we didn't speak about. Well, they spoke about, but we didn't speak about. Yeah. John Morrison. John Morrison has gotten released, man. Y'all yeah. thought was released. And uh, the name being dropped to John Morrison for hold on, not also the return of Maurice. That was kind of crazy, man. It was. It was crazy. Uh, with Morrison, I mean, he looked like he came back to WWE to do what the, yeah, yeah, what, the, what the OGs do. Like yeah, bringing bringing other guys up and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. like he took he took everything they, they gave him and, and tried to make it work. And I give him, I give him full credit for that. Like, yo, he came through and did whatever they told him to do, and he did it. He did it to the utmost. But it always looked like he could have done more. Yeah. Like you see him in the ring, like you true. know he could do more. This is true. This but is true. What was also great was these what two, maybe three years that he was back. Actually, put it. it, it he put, he, he put an agent. They did an agent because he was going crazy for ten years. That's what he was. You know what I'm saying? Definitely he went all, was. all this crazy stuff through Mexico, Japan, everywhere else. And that was storytelling. Yeah. Lucha Underground. <clears throat> Lucha Underground. I I bet you money he's going to show back up. I bet you money he's going to show back up. I miss Lucha Underground. Yeah, not my favorite promotion. All right, let's get it in, man. Let's talk this war game shit real quick. Feel me? We got war games. First of all, man. Uh, they have dropped NXT, and again, we don't watch NXT, whatever, like that. I, I refuse. You feel me? <laughs> but they have dropped the name TakeOver for War Games. And really? Yes. So yes. it's called NXT War, War Games. Games. Wow. Which will be December 5th. It's only three matches so far. Uh, again, here's my gripe, aka, they call me General Gripes, you already know. <laughs> I right. always got a problem, man. All right, War Games don't hit. If Rigo don't spit it from his mouth, feel me? Now okay. I'm saying, if Rigo don't spit it from his mouth, it don't spank, it don't hit, it don't slap. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Now we got War Games match going on. We got old NXT old school yeah. versus NXT new school. Here's the teams um so far for that man. Uh, pardon me, y'all. Let me get to my notes. We got NXT old school Tommaso Ciampa, Johnny Gargano, Pete Dunne, LA Knight. Versus Braun Breaker, Carmelo Hayes, Grayson, Grayson Waller, and Tony D'Angelo. Now, I gotta give it a clap for the old school. Yeah. Old school crowd. Old school crowd is nice. Right. Plus, I'm glad they put LA Knight in it. Number, number one. Because he's kind of been hanging back. Yeah. yeah. With a bunch of nothing. Number one, you know, again, aka General Graves. I got him. Here's a bit. I got that breast. They're doing Pete Dunn dirty. Feel me? Definitely. They're doing Pete Dunn dirty. Why? Why is he not up on the main roster? Why is Rich Holland up there? Feel me? That's that's the biggest right. You know what I'm saying? Here it is. Got you. Now, how y'all y'all thoughts on this war games match, man? We got the young the young the young dudes versus the old dudes, man. I think this is the best showcasing they could do for the young guys coming up. Okay. Cause they do have <clears throat> they do got character. Okay. As you can see with Wilder. Uh, Tony D'Angelo, you know, Tony D'Angelo is a little generic. Probably my favorite ones, though. You know, but yeah, yeah but it hit. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Melo's a star. Everybody sees that. He's right there. I wish he could have still been Christian Casanova, man. No, it would have been. Like, yeah, yeah, that would've, if you would have kept his name, you told me I would have like, all right, I'm not a fan of Carmelo Hayes. Like, this is not a black thing, but you know, hey, I definitely, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I say I definitely dig it, man. Uh, now, I, this is my question. I want to ask y'all fellas. Yeah, thoughts on <coughs> NXT itself 2.0. Before we finish this real rundown of uh, uh, War Games, man, your thoughts on. Do you prefer old NXT or new NXT? Fellas? Oh. They don't. Yeah. Now, black. now I'm probably y'all feel y'all feel the same way I feel. Uh it feels like they sucked the last little bit of feel of independent wrestling out of WWE. I feel Philly they they NXT. try to make it too much like the main roster for me. Yeah, I, I feel like they just try to take away whatever was left from that old NXT. I mean they liked some of it, so they kept it. But just mm-hmm. anything else that even like smelled like the old NXT, they just took it out. Yeah. And they're trying to make something else. They just want to. Triple away free you. Free Triple away from you. Yeah, I, think they try to I hope he's doing good, man. You know, he had that just, heart surgery. I think they try to revamp it too fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Like overnight. Like this yeah. Wednesday was this, and the next Wednesday, oh shit, it's a yeah. new NXT. And you're like, oh, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, it was just, it was hard to see it the first time around. Like, yeah, it was too bright for me. It was bright like, colors. Yeah, it was just a park. That's what it was. Man. Yeah. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> they ain't dropped it, bro. Bow, bow. All right, man. Uh, 106 in Park after AJ and Free. That's, That's a fact. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Let's get into this. Everybody next. was a host. Yo, you stupid, man. <laughs> um, let's get into this next match real quick, man. We got Cameron Brown versus Duke Hudson. Of course, I'm a fan of Duke Hudson because I'm a fan of Wade Barrett. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a fan of Wade Barrett. I'm a fan of Stu Barrett. Like, I'm, I'm a fan of Wade is, Barrett. With every match this night, no young guy should win. No sorry. young guy should win. No young guy should win. I'm sorry. Okay. If there's a vet. Versus old a uh, young guy or uh, whatever you want to put it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, now, young guy. Now, 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 now. I just feel like that. Right. <coughs> wait, I understand they trying to put over okay. these okay. young guys in this town. Yeah, but no young guy should. Be. Oh, but it has to take place for that match, man. So here was the hair match. Like, yeah, he already cut. He already cut half his head. We already. I don't know, man. I'm not sure. I go to Buffalo Joe. I'm not sure. Big Joe's. So, I mean, there's some matches that I think are built for okay. the young for the young the young bulls to come up. You All know right. what I'm saying? Like, I feel like the, the the war games match, the cage match, that's that's for the young guys to come up. Uh, the old guys are gonna show their talents, of course, because they they did. But we also know that after the tenth of December, Johnny Gargano, his contract's over. He signed a, a week extra. Yeah. They said, yeah, so they know about that. Yeah, and. But they're saying that it's most likely he's gonna resign yeah. because he he likes what's going on and he wants to he wants to help build that. That's why Tommaso yeah. Ciampa is still around. But they gotta build. There has to be at least one or two matches that's gonna build the young guys because they gotta build that from the ground now, up. They tore it down to build it from the ground up. Now, now, yeah. now here's, right. here's a here's a young here's another young match that's going on. We got Imperium versus Kyle O'Reilly and Von Wagner or Legado de la Fantasma. Now, of course. <clears throat> I feel like they yeah. kind of left it, swept them under the rug for a while. No, nah, dude, so they kind of got left yeah. in a way. Do you see Kyle, speaking of resigning, do you see Kyle O'Reilly resigning, man? Kyle O'Reilly, I don't know. Do you see him going home to be with his friends? I think that's what he's going to do. Okay. And that, that could add to what they're doing at AEW. That could add to a story that's going to split the elite. Yeah, I don't know have his people. You see it, right? Yeah, yeah. I already yeah. see it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, 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 that's what it looks like. You know that's what I'm saying? That's what it's man. You already yeah. know. All right, man. Speaking of uh, <laughs> undisputed ever shit, <laughs> feel me? We got Roger Strong versus uh, Joe Joe Gacy for the NXT Cruiserweight Championship. I'm a big fan of the Diamond Mine. Yes. I am a big fan no, of the Diamond, Diamond Mine. Is dope. I'm a big fan of the Diamond Mine. Y'all thoughts? Who y'all think is going to win that match? I got to go to the old guy, man. Yeah. Roger Strong, man. Roger. He hasn't had that many um, really showcases up with that title anyway. All right. All right. So I think, yeah, Roddy got, Roddy got to get this one. Now, we got the, uh, of course, there's a number of old school versus uh, uh, new school shit. We got the females war game matches. Of course, we got Raquel Gonzalez, uh, Big Mommy Cool. I Big always wanted cool. want to say that on, on, on the mic, man. But Big Mommy Cool, Io Shirai, uh, I don't even know who Cora Jade is. Uh, for, uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's one girl with the skateboard. skateboard. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, they, okay. Got, they, they got Kenny Ray uh, versus Dakota Kai, Toxic Attraction, and Toxic attraction. Who y'all thought? Who's taking that team, man? Who's taking that? I gotta go toxic attraction. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Well, he only is wise because they they the ones that's kind of making noise for the women. 
yeah. right now in yeah. NXT. They, the they don't want they don't want new chicks that I'm yeah. I could be like I know those, those yeah, yeah, yeah. just because like they've kind of made a little bit of noise. The other women are kind of like ah. Even when a girl with the skateboard comes out, I'm like I don't know. <laughs> and Dakota, I'm like, I be thinking yeah, this Dakota skateboard is cool. Win. They like, doing her wrong, man. That's another one that, that should have been the worst. Hey, yeah. there was so much talent with the, the, the yeah. women's division. Yeah. Not, not just only on NXT, but just on a main roster, too, all across the board. It's, it's insane. It's now, insane. before we head out real quick, man, on so this whole Big E, Kevin Owens situation, and Seth Rollins, man. Yo, man, I, I just hope Kevin Owens resigns. I know this. I, I don't want really to do too either. much for him to do, but I would Shots like to see. <laughs> I would like to see him versus Edge. If he's leaving, at least give me that. Okay. All right, man. Uh, thank you, brother. I appreciate no, you. Thank man. you guys for now, having me on, man. Now, for anybody that's trying to live your life, uh, do what you try to do. Feel me as far as graphics, anything yeah, else, yeah. podcasting, man. What advice do you have for them out there, man? All I say is, yo, bet on yourself. Cause ain't nobody else is gonna believe what you're doing if you don't believe it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Just like, just like how you guys, you, you guys put everything together. You guys put the money in yourself. You know, you guys got the system. You guys got Thank everything you, going for yourselves. You Thank know what I'm saying? You, if, if you ain't doing it, nobody's gonna see it and nobody's gonna believe it. Real shit. You know? Yeah, man. Any shout outs, man? Any shout outs? Uh, oh, again, man. drop your info for the people out yeah, there. Yeah, bow, 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 bow. Come on, man. Just, <laughs> uh, just shout out to all the artists to help me, you know, bring bring my vision to light. Like Dream I said, match, 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 uh, shout out to Dartillion, shout out to Chris Gomez, you know, he helped me with the, with the bear shirts, you know, I got like the polar bear looking like wrestlers and stuff. I like love it. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, man, shout out to my team, you know, 20 by 20 podcast, my boy Woodrow, Bing, Shice, what up, LP, what up? We out here. You gotta do a Wu Tang shit, man. Yeah, listen, I, I got that in the works. But Look, you gotta do a Wu shit, man. You know, I don't want to put it in there like Bernie Sanders. Like, when you do it, you <laughs> don't want to put it in like Bernie Sanders. That's politics. Over, politics. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta see, I gotta see what I can do, man. Cause there's a couple of things I wanted to do and it was already done. So, okay. I gotta, gotta go back to the drawing board with it. You know what I'm saying? All right, man. Again, we thank you. I can't thank you enough. I appreciate nah, I can't thank you for you guys love, all that, man. Health and wealth. I am the good brother Bowles. I'm your boy Cam Stoll, Jay Kofi Weeston. You got this. this is story. Me. Oh, no, 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 this no, no, no. is Storyline Flop, baby. And we are. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the yeah, Dirty Hill. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. You already know what it is, man. Make sure you like, subscribe. Season 4, Storyline 5. Uh, Season 4, Storyline 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Season 4, Storyline 5. Yeah, my impossible is saving moms. I love you. Infamous many hats. Shout out to the Dirty Hills crew. You know what I mean? Showing nothing but love to us and shit like that. You already know. Yes, yes.